let's talk importing files from Safari. I'm going to go to Safari. There are three different kinds of ways you can get um, information from Safari into Notability. First, let's talk about a web page. So we talked web clips before, but you can also export a PDF version of the website to bring into Notability. So once you have the web page open, if you tap on the share arrow in the top right hand corner, you get um, the screen that would allow you to send it straight to Notability. But what I wanna point out is the options at the top of that. If you tap options, you can choose to send this automatically as um, Safari decides. It will decide the best format. PDF is going to give a um, exact version of this website. It will give you the entire page, um, so you won't have to scroll. If you're doing something with text, I would suggest possibly trying the reader PDF. So I'm going to show both of these options. So first, let's do PDF. And I'm going to choose Notability. It's going to ask, do you want to create a note, or do you want to add to an existing note? I'm going to say Create New Note. It's going to ask for the title, subject, and pages. I'm going to leave those all the same, but if I wanted to change any of these options, I would simply tap on one of the selections, and then I can change. And then I'm going to choose Import, and it has been sent to Notability. So let's go take a look at what that looks like. If I go down to tap on the screen, if I then scroll, I can see there is my um, document, and then I can highlight and annotate that file as any other note. Now let's take a look at what Reader PDF would look like. So I'm going to tap on the uh, Share button again, and then I'm going to choose Options and choose Reader PDF. I'm going to go back, tap Notability make a selection on the, uh, if I want to create a new note or add to an existing note. And then I have the option again to change the title, the subject, and the pages that are going to get imported. Go back and choose import. And again, that file is sent to Notability. So let's go take a look at that one. Notice in this document, um, it skips the first page and then it has one of the pictures and all of the text. And open up the second one. This one, the formatting is slightly different um, with the pictures and the text. Another option you have available to you is if you have a um, PDF you want to download into the download section of Safari. So I'm gonna push and hold on this PDF link and I'm going to select download linked file. If something goes into downloads, you're going to see an arrow pop up at the top. That down arrow tells you that there is a download that has just occurred. If you tap on that, you'll then see a list of any downloaded files. These are saved to the file section of your iPad in your downloaded folder. So if you needed to come back to them at any time, you can find them there. If I tap on that link, it's going to then open that PDF that is now saved to the downloads folder. I'm going to tap on the share button and I can send this straight to Notability. Again, create a new note, add to an existing note, change the title, subject, or which pages I'm importing, and then I'm going to choose import to send that to Notability. Tap done. And then I can go back to Notability and there is the note that I just imported. Another option, same type of scenario. If I open a PDF directly from the internet, I can tap that share button again and tap Notability to send it to Notability. So that's how you can send web pages and downloaded files from Safari into Notability.